Hello YouTube, Pole Gamer here. Again with another episode of Automation. And today is the second part, or part two, of me making this Ford Focus rally car. And today I'm hoping I can finish this off. So far there is no warnings at all, unlike the Porsche. So yeah, I'm hoping I can finish this off. Starting with the steering, electric, and ESC, advanced 20s, optimized, so definitely close to the rear, so I'll say about 40 something. Optimized way, I don't even know what that is, so suspension, um, springs, I would have to say active sport I guess twin tube oh standard semi-active adaptive I guess off-road I get want to get rid of that presets utility off-road and definitely utility because it needs to be high but not this high So it either needs to be on comfort or utility. Definitely utility. I'm active comfort and semi active. Testing. Go up here. I'm definitely going to have to go for markets. I guess go for this guy. This guy up there. Pin. Actually, I'll pin this one. I'll, considering it's a rally car, I'd say thirty thousand dollars. I'll say that's a good price. Summary. Actually, yeah, back to fixtures because last video I said I'll do some of, this, some of this first and then go back, so I'm back on the fixtures. There is a black line on the bottom, so body molding decal patches. Should just be able to put this here. To stretch it out to fill this entire space up to there. Put about there and make it black. There you go. M. Was it on this side? Oh, okay, yeah, now it's on this side. So put it towards the front first. Clone fixture in place. Move it this way this time. Mm, it's not down a lot. There we go. Still not all the way to the front. Out there. Definitely need to move this one back. Down here. Oh boy.
That's probably the best I'll be able to get. Is that. Um. I mean, there is a, some more here, but I'm not gonna do, like, all the gray and black and stuff on the side. But the one thing I will do is grab this right here. Make it a, just a big square. That's like the most perfect square ever. Go up here, click that. Bring it over to the door. That's about perfectly even. Not chrome, I need it to be white. Yep, white like that. Move it down. Clone fixture in place. Keep it the same width. Make it about like that. Make it black. Move it up. About right there. And this is a nine car, I believe. Yes, I believe it says nine. With 3D molding, that's not it. Body, no. Badge and decal. Now I just need to grab a nine. Right in the middle. Make it big enough so you can see it. Grab it. Mirror it. That's... That just looks terrible. Um, unmirror that. Clone fixture in place. The best I could do is just to bring this whole thing around. And just line it up over here. That's the best I can do. And just somewhat put it in the right spot. Uh, I'd say that's about perfect. Somehow. So I'll leave that how it is. There is some lettering here. So if you take this. Clone fixture in place. Move it up. Put it this way. Make it a bit smaller. About there. Grab that. Go to about here. And down. There's a lettering. There's, uh, there's some lettering there. I'm putting the automation logo. Because why not? Can't say you don't like the automation logo. You can't even see it. You actually cannot even see it. There it is. Nice. But can I mirror it? No, I cannot. No, I definitely cannot. Clone in place. Overlap it on this side. Why aren't you letting me move you? Hello? What? Why are you not letting me do that? I have to undo that first. Or do I have to get rid of you? Delete. Clone in place. Actually, it's gonna be a lot easier if I... 
Lena up here and just bring it across the top of the car. Bring it down over here into the correct spot. Why isn't it letting me move it down here? There you go. I would say that's about the middle. I would say that's about right. Perfect. But it's not. Nothing can be perfect in games such as automation. There's no such thing. Pun in place. Definitely need to make it like a steel color. anything about that though but decal patches actually I think I'm just gonna get rid of this I'm just gonna leave it as the black yep I'm just gonna leave it as the black here decal grab this shrink it to about that move it over glossy over a little further out this way there we go this side yep it's rounded off so that's good wait why is this doing that this needs to be short to be moved up like right on the very edge I like that there you go perfect just need to make this a little shorter move this down to about there move this down with it There we go. Now for the black there. I think I'm just gonna put a square here. Make the same with this that, which is about that. Actually, exactly that. Just stretch it out. This one, I can just turn the mirror off, just stretch it out to match that. I 
I think every single one of these. Glossy. Boom. Sides are a little wonky like that. But, hey, what can I do? And actually, rather than the inside, and some very weird looking lights there, actually that can probably be an indicator. Like, cause these, yeah, these, the, yeah, this is square. If I go back, go into the 3D, if I grab one of these, it's one of these little cubes. I put this about here. Make it black. Stretch it out to about Put it about there. Keep it like that. Although maybe make it a bit taller. In 3D. Tilt it back. Towards straight. And move it down. Up to about there, and then I could grab the indicator, which is this. Make it 3D, move it up. That's not even the same thing. How do you know what that is? That's the indicator. Make this part black. It out like a lot. Move it down, tilt it back, move it forward. Actually, that's actually really good. That needs to be. A regular light. So if I get rid of this, keep there. I can probably make this a headlight. Um, is there a rectangular one that has circles in it? Because that would be nice. The only thing I would be able to think of is this. Black. Oh my goodness. That is a thick boy. Oh, it's one of those lights. Really? It's one of those? Why? About as thick as that. Go turn the mirror off. Stretch it out. Make it a bit thinner. Make it black. Move it down. That actually looks terrible. Oh, this one's not bad. Yeah, but it's out really far. Right there. That's almost perfect.
Definitely not a grill. That just makes it empty. Steel is a big no. Uh, I think I like that light most for this. But if I go to the end, I should be able to make this the same color. No, I'm just gonna have to make that black. Just like all the rest. That does mean I can make it stretch a little more. There you go. Now there's a rally light on the front. But it does look a little weird. Probably just because of how close it is to the front. So, move this back and up a little. Not that one, this one. Back and up. How did that line up? Move that down a little. Move that down. Wow. That lined up almost perfect. Put that down. I don't have to move that down about there. Wow. The picture I'm looking at has about three. But I do need to put a wing right here. So, spoiler, no wing. Where on earth am I going to find a wing like this? Right here. That's the wing. That is very, very ugly. Actually, probably gonna be one of the hideous things I'll see in automation because that is terrible. <laughs> it's not even gonna sit there right. I can't use that. Maybe this? They all look the same. They all look exactly the same. 3D. Flip it up. Stretch it out. Make it a bit taller. Go back to this. A little bit more forward. Especially here. And down. And so that doesn't have black. It doesn't look bad, but it definitely does not look right. Yeah, it's more of an angle back here. I'm getting rid of it. This rally car will not have a wing unless I find one that will work. But I do need this little thing. Even rally cars have these. I don't understand them, but it's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely needs to be shorter. I'll tell you that. And it needs to be the same color as the car. There we go. Looks a little weird, but it's fine. And this rally car that I'm looking at also has some little things on the top. So. Maybe a little shorter. <laughs> I'd say that's about good. Mirror. That's pretty good. 
Alrighty. This light kind of looks hideous, but... Or is hideous, considering who you ask, but... Now, it's for the inside of the car, and... It's very simple from what it looks like. So... Interior 3D. Um... Dashboards. I like the most simple one, which is probably this. But I don't like the steering wheel. What's that part of? A new one that looks like a racing wheel. Like this. That's more of a dashboard. Center it. Flip it this way. Flip it like this. 3D. That's probably like the perfect size. Um, how do I even touch that part? Okay. There we go. Free cam. Put it forward. Oh, no. Forward. Forward. Up. And outside the car, yes it is, by a lot. So, shrink it. And shrink it. Is it outside of the car anymore? This is the slightest bit. Let's move it down. Still is. Is it even straight? No, it's not. Let's move this way. Slide this bit in. As long as it's not clipping through that, it's fine. There we go. It's covering up most of this gap, so it's fine. Now I need gauges. 3D, definitely not that. Um, classic steering wheels don't need that. I don't even know what that is. Um, And all I know is that I need something. I think it's in here. Where are the gauges? I know there's a gauge thing in here. This one? Yeah, it's this one. Um... Cause it's so simple. I think all I'm gonna do... Just put. So they want somewhat of a realistic one for what I'm looking at. This one. This one looks almost exactly what I'm looking at. It looks like almost exactly what I'm looking at here. This way, this way. Is that even right side up? If I put it in. Yes, it is. Put it somewhere above where it should be. Put it forward. Tilt it down. Meow. Oh, I'm way too low for putting it in the right spot. Good grief. I'm 
little too far that way. Oh my, that's way too big. Talks about right. Are right, being quite a bit too low. Right there. I don't want to have that. It's definitely like a racing seat, so. Is there any other racing seats? No. Back. Are there any other racing seats rather than these? I think the only difference is that this one's taller, so I'm going for this one. M. Alright, here. Boom. Ready. Tilt him up. Back. And down. Back. Tilt forward. Not a lot, but a little. About right there. This. Uh, which one? That's a window. Definitely don't want that. Oh boy. I think the inside's gonna be glossy. And this outside is that. Should it be the other? Yeah, definitely the other way around. This needs to be the, this. I'm still not sure. Like it, but I cannot parole cage. Uh, still sticking through the roof, really. Whatever. Um. Okay. I feel like the last thing I would do is well. I mean, that looks like the racing wheel that I'm looking at. This looks like the simplest dashboard you can make. I think the only thing I would need is nothing. I have no floorboard, but I'm not gonna do that. I like the last thing I'm just gonna do is just like, add this in the shifter. Because that's all it really needs now. So, go in there. Go down until I see a shifter. This one. I like this shifter. Put it right in the middle. Right here. Boom. 3D. Tilt it. Up. Down. too far down. Is this the right way? No, it's not. I need to flip it this way. Wrong way. I need to flip it this way. That's the wrong way.
How do you do flip that way? Flip. Thank you. And down. Forward. That's tilting. I don't want it to tilt. I want it flat. Forward. Down. Probably to look like it's somewhat attached. Clone fixture in place. Go back up. Turn it to wherever it went. That's not it. Down here somewhere. Turn it into... Delete. I know it's in here. Where is it? Where is it? I know it's here. But it's not. But it's right here. How did I not see that there? Uh, definitely the one that looks more complicated. Because I like complicated sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. Push it down. That's connected. Doesn't look very good, but I think that may be this done. So once I get back to Beam and G, I will have this you know, off road area. I will be right back. Well, I'm almost to Beam and G. I just have to wait for this to load. Great. I'm hoping it works good. I'm hoping. Because <laughs> if it doesn't, I'm not really in the mood to fix it. Because Beam and G 0 0.31 just came out. I want to see what's in there, make a review on it, play around with the stuff. I want to get onto that. So I hope it works first try. And yes, I didn't notice when I was exporting the car. The back is very, very blank. I will fix it off camera. It's not going to be a lot. Not worth recording. So I'm just going to leave it. A lot of you are probably going to be mad at me. But I'm leaving it. Because the back of the rally car wasn't really much anyways, rather than the Ford logo, so... There's no reason for me, and so there's no reason for me to do it. And I'm on Johnson Valley, like the most perfect map you could do for this car. So, oh, Gavril T series, it's a new thing. Semi, where's my car? I don't see it. There it is, Ford Focus Rally car. Man, it looks cool. Let's just hope it sounds cool and such. Please don't make it loud like the Porsche. Well, not bad.
like when cameras do that. I don't It's definitely not tall enough, but it's not made for going over rocks. Or at least not rocks this big. I didn't think there was going to be rocks this big on in this hill. So. making it any further. Well, it's definitely a sturdy car, I can tell you that. Crawling up a hill, it's amazing. Bye.